Kent Conservation Commission meeting here at 6 p.m. And Chuck Raymond is our chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Um, actually, do you want to do the page just a roll call? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, President here, uh, Elizabeth Ritchie. Blair, sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Chuck Raymond. Here. Chuck. Bridget Schollick. Bridget Schollick. Bridget Schollick. Sorry. <laughs> Mike Ficci. Here. And Jeff Cohen. Here. All right. Perfect. C Thank you. Huh? C C C C C C Close enough. Close. So, <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for attending. Uh, if, if I may, though, um, before I get going, if you uh, if you give me at least a <laughs> one conversation at a time. Thank you. Um, if you have your cell phones, you can either make sure they're off or on vibrate, just to make sure we don't get interrupted. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll move it into uh, continued hearings, and just as uh, just a change of order, um, one of the uh, the third item on the agenda has asked to move, move to the top because they've got other commitments. So you're all set. So I'll, I'll read, read, it, read it into the record. Pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 131, uh, Section 40, the Mass uh, Massachusetts Wilderness Protection Act, the Lumberton Conservation Commission. We'll hold a public hearing on a notice of intent regarding the construction of a garage at 1343 Central Street, map and parcels 499-39, uh, DP file number, which is brand new, out of the presses, I guess, 199-1153. The floor is yours. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, board members, and uh, interested citizens. My name is David Sadowski. I'm the principal of DJ and Associates. I'm here with Dr. Mazeros. Dr. Mazeros would like to uh, construct a private garage, meaning it won't be used for his dentist business. It's actually going to be used to house a motorhome and also some antique cars. Uh, the reason that it's a commercial filing is because it's in the commercial zone, but it's going to be used as a um, basically a private garage. The garage we constructed it was a site walk that we had. Um, we went over the areas of uh, it's actually lawn at this point right now, and that lawn would have the sep it would have the um, <coughs> The foundation will be put in. There's going to be a footing that will go all the way around with frost wall. It will be a slab construction for the private garage. The garage will be a pre-manufactured. Um, it's a package that comes that, that, that's put on. And um, what we're going to do is all of the roof drain and the drain from the new area that's going to be used for the finished grading for this slab to level it out. Uh, there'll be a holding basin built in the back. That was depicted on the plans. I have some little... Um, blow ups with the circle down at the bottom. This one's in red so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, I could, if I could, just pass these out, it might make it easier. Of course, the slab is the, the white section, and then uh, the fin FG is for finished grade. That would be part of the legend. You would be able to see that FG meant finished grading. And it goes down into a holding area, and the holding area would go. We've done calculations. We did the DEP stormwater checklist. Uh, we submitted that electronically to the town and to DEP. Uh, Mia was the person at DEP who was the contact. She issued the file number on it. And we, along with that, we did uh, storms up to the 100-year frequency. Uh, we'll be able to handle that with this uh, swale area that we have. So we have a 2, a 10, a 25, and a 100. And this area is capable of handling all four of those. Um, we have somewhat of a little bit of a small uh, stone wall section that will hold up the grading. Other than that, everything will stay 25 feet from the wetlands. Uh, the wetlands were flagged. We saw some of the flags on our field visit. Uh, and the actual intermittent brook is even further out than the wetlands. Um, there's a, a ring of straw wattle with hay bit, with uh, silt fence that's proposed to be five feet away from where the wall construction will be. There won't be any disturbance past the wall area. And I'm open for any questions from the board. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, the only con a question I had, uh, did, did you have any comments from the DEP from, from Mia? Yes. Mia had a couple things that she said. One was that all the area outside of where we're going to disturb should try to remain the same type of vegetation that it is now, um, meaning that it would be able to absorb or do whatever it did right. to help the brook. And the other one was, you know, make sure the safeguards are in place before the construction starts. And the last one was, she asked to explore, I think, the idea that these roof drains, instead of being piped down into here, maybe come as a swale so that they could, uh, I guess, maybe have some type of a recharge value. But um, I think that anything coming off the roof is clean water, you know, and if it does go down a swale, it's just gonna bring up silts and other stuff and bring that down into the basin. 
And once the bottom of the basin gets full of silt, it won't act as a recharge area. It won't be able to percolate to the ground. So I really think the piping of the roof is the best idea for that. I can see if it was a brook from somewhere and you know we proposed piping and that would be wrong, but as far as clean water going right down and recharging into a basin, I think that'd be the most effective means of disposing of the water from the roof and the snow melt off. Did did you did you reply to you did you give that reply to me at all? No, no. I, she just she just had that on her. Okay, um, I see. When I she see. when okay. she published out her number. It would, now, is there any any type of maintenance plan for that uh, that swell? Yeah, there's an operation and maintenance. Okay. There is an operation and maintenance plan that was sent in as part of the stormwater report. Okay, wonderful. The checklist. Okay. All right, thank you. I have no further questions. Uh, Liz. Uh, I'm all set. Okay. Well, were those requirements from Mia and DEP or just suggestions? Well, no, they were listed as suggestions that the the, uh, the applicant should look at, yes. the applicant could, you know, should think about, those. that's the way it was, it didn't say must, it said should look at. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to restrict you on changing plants, personally. Yeah. I don't see the, the importance of the impact. Right. The water's all going down there, one way or the other. The, the, only, the, only, the only thing I would say was is if, if, if you were to put, put any planting in, um, you know, make a, a native planting, ideally, you know, Sue so for a wetland type area, but that's that. That'd be about we'll, it. We'll match up the plants that are in the area and put the same type of planting in. That's fine. Yeah. And, and like I said, you got well. Whoever was on the site walk, there was three gentlemen. Yeah. Um, it it's a lawn area now, so it's not like we're losing vegetation of any uh, shrubs or tree cover or anything like that. Right. Okay. I had no problem. I just wanted to confirm that. Thank okay. you. No sir. Okay. No questions. Jeff. Um, okay. All right, well, uh, with that, then, the, uh, I'll, I'll close the, the, um, the Conservation Commission in part of this, and I'll open up to any comments from the public. If there's anybody here that, that has any questions or wishes to speak on the topic, please do. Uh, but if, you know, before you do, please introduce yourself, uh, say, state your name and your address. Hmm. Again, as I said last time, this is much easier in, in, in person. You know, I don't have to ask three times. Uh, good, excellent. Thank you very much. So with that, I'll, I'll go ahead and close the hearing, and I will... Uh, I have to entertain a motion uh, on this um, application. I would make a motion with our state same standard conditions. Okay. To um, accept the notice of intent. Okay. Which, like, uh, there, there were some minor special ones, including the plantings that like that Mia maps. Do you want to? I was not going to add Mia's into that. No. Okay. Fair enough. Sure I didn't see that okay. as necessary as far as impacting the wetlands. Okay. That's so fine. All right. Is there a second? More I'll spirit. second the motion. Okay. Thank you. Oh, do you want? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So we'll roll call. Uh, Elizabeth? I vote aye. Aye. Sure. I vote aye. Right. Reggie, Reggie and Jeff. 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 Okay. Thing that also Jeff. Uh, question. I was not, I don't think I was here when. They, oh, that's right. Yeah, Jeff wasn't here. Yeah, yeah, good point. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that. Oh, that's right, too. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's why I was staying. Yeah. yeah. I abstained. <laughs> not that I would sway the. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's right. All right. So um, yep. So with, with 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 that, you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Both. Thank you for letting us go first too. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you can thank the people all the way out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you weren't here. That's why I gave you the color. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Very well. Thank you. Very well. <laughs> Thanks. We had a tough bunch over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. They throw things away. All right. Perfect. Okay. Moving on. Uh, item B, pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 130, uh, Section 40, the Massachusetts Wellness Protection Act, the Lumberston Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on a notice of intent regarding the construction of a solar energy storage system, including associated utilities and driveway. Uh, address 0 Willow Street, map and parcels 500-2, DEP file number 199-1151. And I see the gentleman walking in to represent the project. So. Quick question, did you folks find, come in the side door here? I, I tried every door until I got to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything 
was luck when we got here. Luck, luckily, Mark let us out. I don't have a key. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. We're glad you're helping us now. <laughs> Moving on, introduce yourself. Uh, just Lord Chris Anderson, Handy Engineering, here on behalf of the CP Battery Defco LLC uh, for the construction of an energy solar uh, system off of Willard Street. Uh, we were before the commission, I believe it was last meeting, um, just to go over the project. Oh, yeah, so, so, very quick, so Jeff, you'll have to recuse yourself again. Yeah, I'm saying, anyway. I can't vote, but I can participate in the discussion. Correct, right. Correct. Um, just to give a quick overview of what uh, the project's all about. Uh, projects for a battery storage uh, system for a solar system uh, be comprised of eight concrete pads with battery units placed on top of them. Access will be provided off of Willard Street uh, via a 20 foot wide gravel access drive. Uh, storm water for the site will be directed towards a small rain garden located on the property uh, to provide compliance with storm water management regulations. Um, the wetland areas are isolated to a few um, small non jurisdictional wetlands uh, located throughout the property, which are more just uh, potting areas that have just developed over the course of time. Uh, the site has been historically utilized as a dumping ground, um, as such there's an AUL on the property. Um, part of the AUL is we don't dig within three to eight feet, we're staying outside that area, it's generally a fill site anyway. Um, so all compliance is met with the uh, requirements of the AUL. Um, and there's a large forward vegetated wetland that encompasses the mass majority of the property. Um, that has of course been in buffer zones. Um, Effectively, we're not doing any additional work in the buffer zone or within the wetland itself. Um, I believe the commission went on a site walk uh, about a week ago or so. Um, based on what I've been told, there wasn't any outstanding concern. Uh, if there's any questions from the commission, I'll have to answer. Thank you, Chris. Um, the, only, uh, the only question I had is, and I'm surprised I didn't ask you this when I was out there, we're, we're, so this will be storing energy from solar panels elsewhere? Um, it's effectively whatever's on the grid. Um, my understanding of it is that um, a lot of the larger solar fields, also the small rooftop systems, are pumping a lot of uh, energy into the system mm -hmm. during the daylight hours when nobody's actually using it that much. Mm -hmm. What these do is uh, collect the, uh, excess energy during these peak hours at rate, uh, store them so that by the time everybody gets home at the end of the day or at night, they can just slowly discharge. Okay. And I think the big scheme overall is that as the uh, states renewables start kicking on more full steam, all the large solar arrays, wind power, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, it's the intent that all that energy will eventually be distributed throughout the entire grid, including additional uh, battery storage systems, even if there are systems that's far away from everything. So we may see more of these applicant applications for these things? Yeah, it's, it's a high probability. This is the new solar array systems. So okay. the state's pretty much done doing the big solar array fields that we saw a few years ago. Mm -hmm. It's more going towards these to help um, capture more of that energy that was created during that first round. Okay. Okay. The only question I had, uh, Liz? Um, I think that's it, because I asked about the fencing last time. So, yeah. Okay. No, I did the site visit. Good. All right. Yeah, I think I. I I think I asked this question. The the technology is lithium ion, right? So there isn't any liquid in the batteries. There's no containment. No, or? it's uh, purely uh, solid state. Solid state. Good. That's all I have. The only coolant in, or liquid is in this. The coolant, and that's a typical high call picture that you find in your car. Okay. Jeremy, I don't have any questions. Okay. All right. With that, I'll close the, uh, this portion of the hearing. If there's anybody who wishes to ask questions or has any comments on the, on the project, please do so. But if you do, yes. Can we see the plans? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Yeah, sure. Uh, if you do have any questions or want to comment, please uh, just state your name and address before you do so. No? No? Okay. All right. All right. With that, with that then, I'll close the public, the, uh, the public hearing uh, portion of, of, of portion of the hearing. Um, and I'll entertain a, a motion from somebody to, to uh, on, on the project. I'll make a motion. Okay, thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Liz. Okay, I'm going to try. Uh, go right. Rich? Aye. And Jeff, 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 Jeff. <laughs> So, motion passes. All right. Okay, great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good luck with this. I need to apologize. I inadvertently skipped over the person that was first on the agenda. <laughs> I totally apologize. From C to B. Yeah. I, know, so yeah, I, I, I crossed out. Anyway. User error, put it that way. It's going fast. Yeah, correct. <laughs>
So I'll go ahead and read that one into the, into the, into the, uh, into the record. Uh, pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, uh, Mass General as well as the Protection Act, the London Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on a notice of intent regarding the riverbank stabilization along the south bank of the Nashua River, address 230 Commercial Road in Lumberstone, Mass., Map and parcel 90-572-1 with a brand new DP number, DP file number of 199-1152. And I see somebody walking in to present to us. Yes, good evening, Commission. Um, I am Adrian Duff with GBA, um, Geoenvironmental. It's nice to see you all again. Indeed. We're happy to resume this meeting. Um, so we came before you in March, um, but we did not have a file number at that time. Uh, we were still waiting on our DEP comments. Um, since then, we had a site visit in March uh, with the commission, and we received our DEP commitment <coughs> file number in early May. Um, we provided a response to the commission. Um, and so would you like me to go through their comments and our response? One by one, or are there specific topics? I think it would be helpful if you went through one by one, just because there may be people here that, 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 that are interested. I'm not sure. I assume they're here for this. Uh, okay. But if they find you, it would still be helpful for the rest of the people. Okay, absolutely. Well, never mind. I'm going to show them So our first question from DEP was a, was a question about if this project will cause additional or increased bank erosion downstream of our project or across the river. Um, and the answer to that is no. Downstream of the project is riprapped already. Um, this is the only portion that we're proposing to armor that's not currently armored in this reach. Um, and in terms of impacting the bank on the other side, it also will not, because we're not changing the direction of flow, we're not going to kick the flow back across the river. So that is not um, a concern on the other bank. Um, the next question was, um, or a request to include a monitoring plan for invasive species with particular attention to Japanese knotweed. And uh, we would absolutely um, understand for the commission to include that as a condition and we would comply. Uh, we propose that for the two years of restoration monitoring, we would conduct monitoring during the growing season. Um, and during that monitoring event, we would either cut or hand pull observed invasive species um, so that they don't get established. If they have become established since the last monitoring event, um, the city would work with a licensed herbicide applicator to treat a larger population. Um, but the intent is to really nip it in the butt. We got it early and often. Nice play on words. You got it. <laughs> um, and then the next three questions were about other permitting requirements. Um, so they asked about if we needed NEPA. Um, we do not, we don't exceed a threshold. Um, they indicated that we may need a Chapter 91. Um, bank stabilization is an exempt activity, but we will be notifying the Chapter 91 office prior to work. Um, and then we will need and are working on obtaining a 401 individual water quality certification. Um, and if the commission would like, we are happy to copy you on that um, either submission or, or receipt of that permit. And that was it. Fairly minor comments. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I just have one question. Um, I, I don't. I, this question may have been answered when you presented initially. Um, what, why was this? Why is this the one section that wasn't armored? Was We're not know? sure. No. Yeah, the armoring was done in the mid '90s by the Army Corps, and I'm mm. I'm not aware of a specific reason they didn't do this okay. stretch. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Okay. It's a, it was an interesting decision on the bend. <laughs> All right. You would think the L side of the bend would be the. Yeah. Anyway, that's n n n not my project conjecture. Uh, I have no more questions, Liz. Uh, I'm all set. Rich? I agreed with your responses, um, and that those those other filings were not required, based on my experience doing this type of work in the past. I would be interested in the water quality certification. Absolutely. So what you have to go through. I know you have many other agencies to jump through, but I wouldn't mind being copied on that just to see what they're doing with it. Yes. And other than that, good luck. Thank you. Uh, just one quick quick question about the Japanese knotweed. On the other side of the bank, I, I think we've experienced over there, it's, it's, it's nasty over there. It really is. And, and you mentioned either, either cutting or pulling. If, um, 
does cutting make, does that force the knotweed to, to grow? Is it, that's not yeah, a good you, idea. No, literally, you, you've got to either, either spray it or pull it. Yeah. Even, even pulling it, if you leave a bit of the root there. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like, so my guess is you can probably end up, you're going to end up defaulting to spraying. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Unfortunately, it's so pernicious. Yeah. Either, either that or just make it salt water and then won't grow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the right. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like bamboo, yeah. It looks like bamboo. Yeah, right. So everybody yeah. calls it. Nasty. It is nasty. No, sir, Mike? Yep. I am sorry. Okay. All set. You, you, Jerry, you were here for the original? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll make sure. Okay. Uh, so with that, we'll, we'll close this portion. Does anybody here that wishes to, to speak on the, on the matter or has any questions? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you can turn that around. Yeah, display oh. for, yeah. the, for the camera. If you have any questions or, or comments, uh, please do so. Um, but state your name and address before you do. I take that as no. Okay, wonderful. So I'll go ahead and, 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 and close the hearing, and I will uh, ask for a motion um, uh, on and what I would like. What I'd like to, if whoever makes the motion, is just to make sure that, that you note that the her Japanese not weed control as stated, and that it would be great if you can copy us on the four hundred one permit application. That'd be great. I'd like to make that motion. The, Excellent. Knowing <laughs> <laughs> no the process, I'd like to make a motion to approve their notice of intent. Um, and include just provide us with a water quality certification and don't cut the Japanese map. <laughs> get, get, you know, yeah. just keep it out. And so there'll be one that's one nice clean spot of what um no. Yeah, there will be one section for a couple years. Yeah. 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 No, year three or four. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> second? I'll second the motion. Thank you, Jeff. Eleven. I go aye. Chuck? Aye. 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 Who passes? All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you regarding the construction of a garage with associated driveway and site grading. 27 Elm Street, map and parcels 121-5, but answer the zone DB file number. Um, there's anybody here to present, you, you can do so, but we, we, we um, won't be able to, to uh, no? Okay, so we'll go, we'll go and just continue yeah, that again. Continue. And just uh, for the record, uh, continuations, we get a vote on. Oh, oh yeah. so you make a motion to... You make a motion to continue. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you would ask the applicant, but there's no applicant here. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you have to, I checked that because I, I remember from when I went at him. Thank you, Mark. Continue, yeah. Is there then a motion to continue the, the, this hearing? I would like to make a motion to continue. We got her iron list first, and we'll go with that one. Second? Michael. Second. Okay. Okay, Chuck? Aye. Average? Aye. Rich? Aye. Aye. Great. All right. All right, thank you. Perfect, thank you. All right, going on, uh, moving on. So uh, no, there's no new business on the agenda, no old business. Now, certificate of compliance, 90 Shore, Lake Shore Drive, uh, DP file number 199-1107. Does anybody, is, is, I went and looked at that. It looks, everything looks fine to me. What, so. what, what do we need, to, so do, do we make a, uh, yeah. do we vote on, on, on that? What, what's the, I don't, well, the thing that was on the agenda, do you not even know why it was on the agenda from before? I don't recall. I don't think I said it was compliance. Oh, sorry. I don't think I said it was compliance. I told it to you late this afternoon. Yeah, but I originally emailed it to everybody. I don't know why it's So the permit, because it's supposed to expire, but like this project started like before COVID. Oh, that's this one. This was like years ago. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think you need to vote on the certificate. As long as you guys are all set, I mean, I'll just issue one. I don't think a Seems to me I'd like to know a little more before we do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll check. Yeah, if you can just get some more information on it, yeah. just let us know. Yeah, like I don't know if they intend to continue or not. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, do you think it's not done? No, it's not done. Yeah, I, wait, I, 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 I don't recall. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 well, no, because it, it's an extension. Wait, why is it listed? No, no, no it's, it's a, a, a I, think, I do believe that, uh, that they want to. Get the certificate of completion yeah. and close it out because there's another project I'm, coming up. Because this one was, I'm confusing the two I looked at the old the file and the plans show it was just like a 
chain. What was it? 96. No, I'm confused. The chain link fence and there's a little chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. small. Yeah. Was, and they, they'd get the ground under stabilization now. They put uh, yeah. some chips down and everything. And it's yeah. No, I'm confused with feet the exchange in the water. street. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're right next to each other. Nice. They put in a brand new septic system last year. That's why they. So this is just to to show up the fact that they've stabilized. You know, it's it's an area that's had no grass ever. Yeah. They put down some some fabric and then put down some wood chips. Yeah. If you can get everything to just yeah, if if we if we go to our CLC next meeting, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Nobody's here. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I think that's something that typically the Asian would go and verify. Yeah, yeah. but you know, like, they go there and they yeah. find yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, said, he says it looked good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I have no doubt. Yeah, let's just let's make sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's okay. no rush. Right. Yeah, they're not uh, holding anybody up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're already done. All right, perfect. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what, what it is holding up is they want to put in a permit for the next project <sighs> over there. So that's. Oh, that. okay. Uh, I don't think two weeks is going to hurt them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. So we're moving on to the next one, which we think, you know, uh, extension, yeah. extension permits, 96 Exchange Street, Hammond's Landing 2, DP file number 199-1061, with an extended expiration date of, Ju of July 3rd yeah. of, of I it said revisit in May. Correct. I mean, I, they're supposed to go out and re-flag, is that what it was? Or okay. reset up the reflag. They were yeah, supposed to re, uh, <laughs> redo their erosion controls. And we have time on this one, yeah. too, so I can check right. that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So check about so reflagging. Mark, Mark will check. Yeah, it was either reflagging or redo the, ero the erosion mm -hmm. controls, and then we were supposed to come out. And then we were supposed to go out and, yeah, because they did it wrong. Three okay. years ago or something. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, I'll check that. But yeah. we have time anyway. So okay. Right. Moving on then. Uh, no, nothing under communication, nothing under meeting minutes. Um, we're moving on to enforcement. Uh, address 803 Pleasant Street. Correspondence from 803 Pleasant Street. Okay, I don't remember this one. Correspondence from a current owner's attorney, past cease and desist order. Do you have any more information on that? Right? I sent it to our the city's, because their attorney sent information, so I don't, I'm not an attorney, right, so I right. sent it to the city's, and I haven't heard back yet. Was okay. this, you don't play one on TV? Yeah. <laughs> was this the one that had three year limit? No. Yes. This is, yes. This right. is the, yes. this is the one where they ended up building the, the garage and the, the driveway. Previous owner. Yeah, yeah, the previous owner did. Right, yeah. right. Tell, tell back that they, they bought it and they, they had, the previous owners had never gotten a permit right. for the, the, the kind of But this attorney is saying that because it's a new owner, just so you know, I'm saying, you know, yeah. when he said that because it's a new owner, that they don't have to play with I don't know so if that's true or not. So <laughs> they don't right now it's cross between yeah. attorneys. Yeah. At this yeah. point. It's yeah. very clear. Yeah. Guys, it's very clear. I think we should have known this as commissioners. Okay. Honestly, so I'm scolding myself for not remembering it. So we're very clear. What are we looking at? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, that's why I wanted our lawyer to look at it. So. Well, I looked at it. It's exactly <laughs> what they said. Um, Did they uh, mean the applicant yeah. or their attorney? Yeah, the attorney. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, I can find it if you want to spot, but what they wrote was the same thing. It's, in, it's out of the act. It's it's, it's, in other words, what happens is, that, is if somebody buys the property from somebody else, our commission only has three years to come in and ask for something that oh, should have been done beforehand. Right. You can't hold it over people forever when they buy somebody else's property, mm -hmm. and no matter who it was. Mm -hmm. So I believe they're correct in that we should back out of yeah. it. For that reason, I disagree. I thought the next one was not applicable, oh. <laughs> if I recall. Did I have that with me? But it doesn't matter because that one should keep getting out of our. What do you mean the next one? one? They had two reasons. Oh, the same property. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, the attorney said two yeah. things. Yeah, I, I don't remember the first one. I remember the second one. For the three years, yeah. again, it's correct. Yeah. So I think okay. we should agree with them. And but question. I, uh, I'd still like the, our attorneys to work. Yeah, yeah. I think we should get a Yeah, I think we kind of have to. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus, but I already I mean, asked them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Even if we did, I'm sure. Okay. So basically, we're waiting here back for the city's attorney. Okay. Then we'll go for the next time. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, good. So that's 803 Pleasant Street for tonight. Okay. Next one, 1775 Walk Drive. Work within 200 foot riverfront area. Parcels 323-1 and 323-13. Cease and desist orders. I know, I know we went out on our site visit was it last fall, mm -hmm. and we had asked them to pull back material. And um, 
I talked to the applicant there. I mean, he said he'll do whatever we ask, but I also told planning and planning in the building because outside of the our resource area buffer zones yeah. is floodplain, and that's on city. That's on the plan with city council. Okay. Mm. And he, that, that was filled because the old plan show replication behind the buildings and it's all filled now. So did the I told them they have to send him a, some kind of a notice. Yeah, right. Take care I, of that. Exactly. I'm having a uh, memory problem here. Did the applicant ever f send in or file a new plan with what they intend to do? Back to no, the no, hiring no. All right. That's it. Uh, yeah, if, it's, if it's in enforcement, then they wouldn't have had a uh, filing. So it, it, would, it would seem to me that if we ask them to pull 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 that where they the regrind yeah, yeah the regrind they pull they, it out they, of it's way. just like they pull the pull the trucks out there temporarily from what they mm -hmm. said out of the buffer seem to be out of the buffer zone for the particular riverfront area uh, that they would file a plan as to what they what exactly if they, they want to go back in and do something right, right. yeah so I'll have to I'll tell them yeah if you can communicate with them they, they need to come back to us with with a with plan, plan. Of, an actual plan of what they intend to do so, so we know what, what we're holding holding them to okay we can't just say yeah you pull this back and you know. Yeah, done. That, that, that's a recipe for a misunderstanding. I'll take that. All right, good. What are you, what are you folks here for, by the way? The, the very next one. Yeah. The next, the next one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, we're getting close that. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I could have moved up. I, I apologize. They look so interested. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Fans of the yeah. 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 Catch the Bruins game where happy. Yeah. 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 It would be different if it was 830. It's 2630. All right. So, so, you, so with that, with that one, just to finish that one off, you have the applicant come back in front of us with an actual plan. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one. Uh, item C, North Street parcels two ninety. I'm sorry, two ninety seven dash twenty seven, and two ninety seven dash twenty eight Hughes Group Corporation. Tree removal with tree removal within two hundred feet of wetlands. Cease and desist order. Now, I don't recall anything about this. Is this new or is this was so I just. So, so I get notified by, I don't know who's here. Uh, are, 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 you, are you Mark? Yeah. Mark. Okay. Yeah. Are you the abutters? We are. Yes. Oh, okay. So <laughs> then you got notified. notified. <laughs> so we'll, 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 we'll get you in just a second. So I'm, so I'm trying to just catch myself yeah, up. Sure. So is this is this a, a new thing in front of us? I, yeah. I don't recall this. Yeah, well, we got notified. I told you last night I had mailings from the abutters are saying that there was oh. tree removal. Oh, oh I see. Right oh. In the river. They have a shed down there as well. Yeah. Okay. You know. All right. And, and uh, I went and looked, and obviously, it's the, the tree rule so far is only, like, the two lots are like hammerhead lots, and the tree rule is only within that first, like, thin strip. Mm -hmm. So I sent a cease and desist order and say, you guys can't do anything, you just come with a plan. That was when? Like, oh, no, uh, yeah, last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, okay. And I have not heard back. But, uh, Haven't heard back yet? Okay. All right. All right. Um, so we, don't, we, have, we have nothing in front of us to ask questions about, so that. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll open it up to the public. Yeah, as I say, yeah. And there's a shed. Yeah. Oh, the whole, the, 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 before we just start just tossing comments around, right. um, you're more than welcome to state what you want, but if you do, if you could at least state your name and address before you do. Chris Evans, 170 North Street. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, why don't we go right through that we're all of letters. Okay. Um, you received letters from Jen, my next door neighbor. I'm Jennifer Buckingham, 164 North Street. Okay. And Ellen has been before Ellen's all the way at the end, and it's directly behind Ellen's house. Ellen, what number? 156. Thank you. Ellen attended um, a variance hearing. They had 51 feet of street frontage. They got a variance of 29 feet to get the 80 feet they needed to to make a driveway. Mm -hmm. Somehow this parcel got split up and grandfathered into being one buildable lot. Um, Brian and I have been back there, not mm -hmm. knowing who the owners are. There's two feet of flowing water down there. It's a perennial stream. It's wet. Um, it worked out. We have a lot of wildlife in our backyard, mm -hmm. as a lot of people do in the area. There's also brown pools back there. Later in the summer, this is all going to kind of go away. Um, it's still wet. I'm probably 20 feet elevation higher than where they're proposing to build, and I have moisture water, running water in my backyard. Okay. Um, be, be, because of the activities, or no, no, oh, yeah, oh, just not okay. yet. Okay. There used to be a pond back there, and when they made the street behind us, they filled in that pond, according to our neighbors who have been there for the last 50, 60 years. Mm -hmm. um, our concern is what they're going to do with water management, mm -hmm. with the engineer plan. Right now, there's no DP permit, there's no NOI, there's no permitting at all. Okay. Um, they were cutting down trees. 
leaving trash everywhere. There's bags of trash all over the place right now, those big green bags. Um, White bags. Yeah, it's, you know, the wind's been heavy lately. It's the wind's blowing all that stuff back into that water. Mm -hmm. um, there is a stream. If you look at the, yeah. the, the map, I think you, the farm, you were the one that was out there. Yeah. It's wetter than it even looks on a map. Oh, yeah, I walked and I, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to send something. Because, you can see yeah. sand at the bottom of it because silt will I'm not laying out because it's, yeah. it's, it's moving that fast. I'm not a wetland scientist, but it definitely needs to be flagged. And, so it's not like at all. Quick question: You mentioned a vernal pool. Is there, is there an actual state certified vernal pool? Or is it just I don't know. It's okay. standing water. It's, it's behind my property. It's, it's not on a map. Okay. Like if it flooded a lot, I met Ellen up there. Okay. She was outside on there, but I'm her was not yard with flood. She's been back there. Survey it since probably something. I'm just pulling this out. I just want to, I'm, I'm going to look pull the maps up and let's just kind of look at this real quickly. Sure. Uh, if anybody else has any questions for these folks, or if you have, we have photos and video back there if you want to see any of that. I um, drove by it um, to look. I would like to get closer, but not go on their property. You yeah, can go come on, on yeah, our yeah. property. You can come on my property. I'm the one that it busted the most. If you between between these two, two, before you leave, if you could sign your names for yeah, us, that's absolutely. okay, and so that I can bring waiters. Know which house to? <laughs> yeah, I will. I want to set the other. Day. <laughs> Brian, I will back okay? He's, I got to remember in the car, but thank you. I would appreciate that, and then I know which yard to just cruise on through. You, you best would come over to my backyard, 156 North Street, oh, Ellen and Block. And you have my permission to walk there. So I want to correct. I'm missing one, one piece. Right 156. Right in the river. And how do you spell your last name? D-U capital B-O-I-S. You know, I'm sorry, Dubois, Dubois. 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 French pronunciation. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. We're on North Street? Yes, 156. North Street. And some of the others were? 164, right next door now. Yeah, yeah. 174. And 174. So three consecutive houses. 164. 171. I can yeah. check with that. I so there's know. no work going on there, there now? Yeah. Well, doesn't appear to be. Jen saw some a couple weeks ago and then sent an email to Angela. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you get an auto reply. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've been in correspondence with Mark. Yeah. Who sent a um, cease and desist? Yeah. So I sent a cease and desist a couple weeks ago. OK. okay. To, to whom? Hughes. All I, had, oh, all I got was Hughes group. Hughes group right we met them on site mm -hmm. one day. The day Brian and I were walking out, and we walked out on their property. And they said that they were going to build on it. It was, I think, bequeathed to them. I don't know how they got the land. Um, I, I can give you some information about that. Um, I went to the assessors meeting uh, on Zoom or whatever it is, mm -hmm. that, and there was a woman named Barbara Matil, Matiel. She owned the property. It was left to her from her father. She wanted to sell the parcels, tied to paying taxes, etc. And she wanted uh, permission to get the driveway extended, you know, from the, it was variance. 51 feet yeah, yeah. variance. And um, I did oppose it. I did say there was a lot of water out there, but apparently it went on deaf ears. And I don't mean to be cruel, but it's true. Um, my basement gets the, the most water because it's it goes down into the vernal pool, so to speak. Um, before I bought the house, apparently they put in a whole uh, sump system and everything to mitigate all that water that was in the basement. <clears throat> and so they approved for the driveway, and the next thing you know, they were cutting trees down. Okay. And the driveway has not uh, gone in? No, it hasn't gone in, but it they've cuts cut my, my... They uh, didn't cut the curb? Yep. Yep, they cut the curb. That's correct. I'm sorry. We weren't notified, being a butters, that any of this was going on for a variance. We would have fought that as well. Mm -hmm. um, you should have been surprised. I was the only we one should have received one in, in you. Yeah, I'll check the yeah. What address do you have for the Hughes group? Do you have an address? Uh, uh, Sunday <coughs> Street, Fishburg. So yeah, it's in Fishburg. Okay. okay. That's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's on my right hand side. Oh, you don't need a permit for a shed, though. It's under 200 square feet. Yeah, they can cover it right now, but there's yeah. somebody else holding it. Oh, I, 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 I haven't been there. I like to go out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I drove by it a lot. I'm surprised I didn't notice. Yeah. I mean, it, it, we'd be happy to it, walk with you out there. I mean, yeah. I'd be very surprised. Okay. 
Maybe phone number or something would be great. Right there. Well, we, let's do that sign in. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that afterwards. Yeah, we can do that. Well, we can walk on yours yeah. and not on ours. Yeah. 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 And you want to try it. We'll use our phone number. All right. I have the phone Is the shed relatively new? Are they storing equipment in there? It, it, it just went up. Yeah. All, yeah. All I don't know what they had in there. It could be gas. It could be, like, I really don't know. They spray painted most of it black. The shed? I have. Not camo? Is that not a camo. <laughs> it was like a tan color. They spray painted, I think, like three sides black. This is, it wasn't the one that was sitting out there already. Was it, this is a brand new Oh, was that one? They yeah. put that out. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. At first, it started with a guy and a girl going out there, and they put a couple flags down, and then they had like pickaxes yeah. and shears and come it's along. Just using they're, they're, they're pulling roots. Um, my, my, my main concern is having it flagged for wetlands. Oh, yeah. just Absolutely. Quite, there's quite a bit of water, more water than you would think. Yeah. His comment was the engineers are determining it. Um, I'm in construction. I know that I've seen the engineers stand for artists that are incorrect. Yeah, oh yeah. So uh, I don't know where we go from here. If the cease and desist orders already been established, they don't have an NOI. Yeah, they can't. Do no, no, there's no NOI. They can't do anything until they come before us. They okay. If they do, will you contact yeah, let Mark and see I, immediately yeah. so someone can go out? If I can catch somebody, yeah, if I can catch somebody out there, it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're the defense to prevent yeah. anything further. Okay. I'll try to paper, we're here. paper, you have yeah. the eyes. I try and drive around too, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm interim right now, so I'm doing two jobs. <laughs> I mean, we all <laughs> work. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen home, I think, <laughs> probably the most. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and one other thing, and I had to have the furnace man come up because my hot water turned brown, and he just made a remark that sometimes he sees construction and trees oh. felled, that it shakes up the water pipes and the water turns brown. It wasn't any flushing. I already know. I keep my eye on that. There was no flushing being done at the time, no hydrants. But it, after they tore the trees down and they fell, my water started turning brown, too. And you have city, you have city water? Yes. All of you did? We all did. They didn't use cranes for those trees? Septic uh, was not a bucket truck, I believe. Just yeah, a bucket truck. Yeah. No cranes. City sewer up there. So they were yeah. dropping. Yeah. No, they probably dropped, I don't know, the whole day. Probably a dozen. A dozen. Yeah. A dozen, yeah. a dozen, a dozen yeah. decent leaves. Yeah. And he dozen. stopped when he got close to the water. Yeah, a foot, yeah. foot, foot or more bigger. Yeah. yeah. You know, absolutely. It was a pretty serious activity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and I think yeah. it's within the... They got pretty close, and in fact, that guy probably wanted to go further, and the, the tree guy is probably like, look, if I go any further, I'm, He's gonna get <laughs> he might get started, you know what I'm saying? It was at that point. Okay. All right, well, we appreciate you guys letting us know about this very much. Yes. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll already get a cease and desist, whether that works with them, or we'll see. I'll try going up the link and I can get a phone number for somebody, so I need. Okay. And so, it, it, this, this, this curb cut that they got, is that closest to your house? Mm -hmm. is it? Okay. Yes. Okay. You'll see it. When, when you drive okay. by, you'll see a bunch of trees down. You'll see the shed right down there. I have photos if you want to see what it looks like from the street. But okay. when, when did they do this work? When did they road? It's right if you, road. Come up, if you come down Abbey, Apple View Road, you can look April right 14, at the road yeah. I wrote on my map. At Valley View. At Valley View. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised. I took a street right that way quite often. I'm you go right down to the bottom of that hill. You, you know, know, it's like you're going to go right through that drive. What is it, 148? 148, 156? Yes. Opposite side of the yes. house. Yeah. Okay. Chris, you have something you wrote about this? We we both wrote letters. Yeah. And submitted them. Okay. Would you please share the copies with and we also emailed them to it was Angela Schofield. Yeah, she's um, the one that left. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but it's in the finals. Yeah, I'll, gotta, I'll send it to everybody. Uh, okay. she's so it was right before the 14th of, of May? Yeah. Of, of April. Of April, okay. It's only the 10th. Sorry, the time has one meeting. Um, okay. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do what we can. Um, we'll we'll chat, talk amongst ourselves. We'll try to arrange a, a time for a, a few of us to come out and, and, and take a look at it so we'll know more about what we're speaking. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Okay, you anything else? Would you like our net numbers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, something's don't work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Make sure you give us pen that he will finish. I will need it.
first gen is a book. I do have yeah. um, three orders and conditions yeah. I need to sign. <coughs> sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys are all signing anything else first? Okay. Thank no, you. Okay. Thank you. Good. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming in. Do we need to monitor anything with agendas coming in the future or will we we be notified? You'd be notified. Yeah, as a, as a yeah, we'll be notified, we'll be notified, right? Correct. Yeah, if you're within a uh, hundred feet of the wet, of the right. property, you'll be notified. And if if some of you fall outside that, that area, the others will get notified and feel free to, to yeah. let yeah. other folks yeah. know that yeah. you know when they want to I think your you, your lots are all within yeah. hundred feet. <clears throat> Yeah. Not seeing any science things. Yeah. Actually, do, let's uh, let's get to the tennis first, and we'll get we'll get at the end. All right. All right. Thank you, folks. Appreciate. It. Have a good rest thank of the evening. Thank you. Um, nothing under emergency certifications. Nothing under budget. No. Um, we we probably to, should do it. I, should, should, I couldn't find anything. Yeah. <laughs> should we do? Do we need to do this before or after we we adjourn the meeting? Does it matter? No. no. Sign yeah, sign after. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. So the next meeting uh, will be uh, May 24th, 2022. The founding deadline was last Friday at noon. Uh, so with that, I'll ask a motion to adjourn. I will make that motion. Thank, you. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I vote aye. Rich. Aye. Call it. Aye. Sorry. Thank you.